this is David from Big Bits, and in this video I wanted to give you all kind of an update on the alert conditions and how we're going to plot the custom values that we're using in our indicators that we're working with so that you can get those values in your alert messages. Uh, I've already done a video on this, you can always go back and look at that one, but one of the things that I missed, and I don't know why I missed it, it probably wasn't part of the reference that I looked at at the time, but this was an option, and we can actually look at the plot values by their actual name of how they're plotted on the screen. Uh, before, we had to, you know, keep track of their order IDs, and or, or their uh, plot IDs, excuse me, and then we had to reference the correct plot ID in the alert message, which is pretty confusing if uh, you're not really able to keep up with a, a lot of that, or there's a lot of plots to keep up with. So uh, I'll, I've already published the script. You can already see the updated version. There is a, a new section down here. We're going to go over all of this in just a moment, so don't worry about that. If you just want to get the updated version, it's already out there. Now. I should have already checked this. I need to keep up with the TradingView blog a little bit more. All of their changes, they usually have a, a blog post for that. And this one is the variables in alerts, which is I should have probably read it a little bit closer. Now they have those built-in variables that we talked about, and you can also reference uh, your plot values by the plot ID, which we covered in the other video. But what we're going to talk about today is actually calling your plot values by their actual name. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. So let's go ahead and switch over to the chart here. And I've already got everything pulled up. I've got the indicator added and we've got our code down here. So essentially everything is the exact same other than the last two lines of code here. It's really simple. All we're doing is creating another alert condition and we have to give it a new title. But in the message we are setting the value here to plot and then parentheses plotted RSI and it's important to note this value the plotted RSI is the title of the plot up here so it won't really matter what order you made the plots you can call them by their ID and it's going to show you the value of that particular one and you can also do the same thing of course for our other plotted value as long as they're a title for the plot you can reference its value in an alert message so this is pretty valuable if you're wanting to see this information wherever you're getting the alert if you want to actually know those values when you get the alerts this is how you do that and we're actually going to go ahead and fire off a couple of alerts I'm going to show you how to actually do this we're going to create I've already created an alert so I'm just going to edit one and by default if you're looking at a chart and you go to add an alert, it's going to look like this. It'll have the symbol that you're working with, the security, here, and it'll have some default stuff put in. We're actually going to have to work with conditions from our custom alert indicator. If you add this to your own indicator, you would look for the name of your own indicator here. Then we can select one of the alert conditions that we've set up. In the first video, we did the custom RSI and the custom smoothed RSI. But in this video, we're looking at those values by their plot name. So we're going to reference the RSI, it's custom by its plot name. We're going to add that. I don't really care too much uh, about any of these other things. You can see it has this in the message. It's going to call our plot. It's going to show it RSI is equal to our plotted RSI. And when I hit save, it should start this alert and it should fire immediately because with the example indicator, the alert conditions are always on. So they're always going to fire every time the, uh, the alert is set up to fire. So let's hit save. Wait for our pop up here. Should take just a moment. There we go. We can see our RSI is 31.45. That is exactly what it is here. You can tell it's the white value. I'll highlight that here, kind of here for you. It's this value uh, on the current candle, 31.46 now. The price changed, so it's changed since we had the alert. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And if you wanted to do the other one, you could do that. If you wanted to actually combine those, you could do multiple as well. 
So there's a lot of great things that you can do by being able to see those values. So if you get an alert that something has happened and one of the values sticks out as odd, you can determine what you want to do with what's going on that way. But other than that, I think that's all for this video. I really wanted to cover that as an update to the previous video. That way, if anyone was confused or having issues referencing these plot IDs, they'll have a much easier method. All you have to do, check out my TradingView profile, go to the script section. You'll find it listed in the scripts down below. You can just add it or follow that indicator or follow my profile, and you'll be able to see all the scripts that I've done. But that's it for this video. And please like the video if you liked what you've seen. I do a lot of videos like this. So if you like this video, you might as well subscribe. There's a ton of other videos like this. And I plan on having plenty more. So other than that, thanks and have a nice day.